<laughs> Hello, AD. Hello, AD. I'm John Legend. I'm Chrissy Teigen. Welcome to our home. Welcome. <laughs> Our designer's name is Jake Arnold. We love him. Sometimes people who are really creative and good at the creative stuff aren't good at the business side of things, but I feel like Jake, <laughs> Jake is the... Hi, Pearl. Sorry. Hi, Pearl. Hi, my love. You can this sit. is my baby Pearl. She's, she likes to cuddle with mama insane, on the couch. She's insane, but she loves to cuddle. This is my Instagram story room. Everyone's always like, you never leave this couch. We live here. This is the living room. You know, and some people, their living room is more like a showpiece, and they spend all the time in the den or the family room. But we're actually in the living room quite a lot. We sit here and watch reality TV. We cook right there in the kitchen. And since the kitchen and the living room are so close, I think that's why we spend so much time here, because we're always cooking. She likes to be in the same space as our guests, same space as the family. Which is cook. why we have three or four different versions of these cushions, <laughs> because, um, yeah, basically my butt leaves a mark for long enough, and the dogs <laughs> don't help, and the babies spit up, yes. and the kids jumping back and forth. I will say, like... This is a very kid-proof house. Um, people are always scared to bring their kids over. They're like, no, they're gonna jump on everything. I'm like, look at this, it's chaos. Like, hey! Our living room is very lived in. And we actually use some outdoor fabrics for yes. our indoor couches. Some of our fabrics are outdoor because they are tougher and they can take more mm -hmm. crap that our kids put on it. And piss, dog piss. Yes, that too. There's a lot of dog piss here. <laughs> so our TV cabinet is pretty cool. It stays open most of the time because we're usually watching yeah, TV never closed. in this room, right. but the TV comes out, watch this, Look and at then that. you can swivel it to face the living room more or face the kitchen more. So if Chrissy wants to watch Real Housewives and make dinner, then we can turn it toward the kitchen. You mean watch the New York Times? <laughs> watch. You mean watch <laughs> Reader's Digest? We're in the kitchen! We are in the heartbeat of our home. Obviously, we spend so much time in here. You can watch TV from here. It's a fully functional working kitchen. Yes. I think like when we go to other people's homes, we're like, oh my God, you can tell that when they don't use it. Or you stay in an Airbnb or something, you're like, oh, these people don't use their kitchen. Yes. We really use the shit out of this kitchen. Honestly, we have all four ovens going quite often. Yeah, so we actually have two down here, two over there, and then we have a microwave over there and an espresso machine. We are literally using all these things all the time. We're doing big meals, having friends over. Yeah. We have Thanksgiving here, Christmas here. We do everything. We always wanted to have a home where it would be like an open door for our friends and family. What we love about it too is it's not really precious. This can take such a beating. I mean, we normally have a cutting board on here that everyone sees my kids on top mm, of. Awesome. All these burners going. I will say it is a very sensitive fire alarm. Oh yeah, our smoke <laughs> alarm is sensitive. For anything. So we had to make sure this safe, hood it was good because yes. it's trying to keep us safe, I understand. But I wish it would try it's gone a little too hard. less. It's gone too hard. Try a little less. Have some faith in us that we would wake up. <laughs> So we're in the piano bar. This is the room where sometimes I'll write music, sometimes Luna will take piano lessons. The chandelier was designed by Allison Berger. It has my lyrics from my first couple albums etched in those wine glasses up there. And then uh, we have a record player that's in this beautiful gold cabinet. There's also actually a TV in there, a LG like roll up TV. <laughs> We're a TV household. We have a TV in every room. We have room. TVs everywhere. And then, of course, we have some of our awards up here. Chrissy's Glamour Woman of the Year. My Grammy, Emmy, Oscar, Tony things. Chrissy's Mac, Mac and Cheese Award. This is, yes. to me, this is the... That was what we did during our first holiday special we did yes. together. Oh, I also got a Glammy Award for the best chair sitter from my Glam Squad because <laughs> I... Never move. Yeah. I'm just really good at getting my <laughs> hair and makeup done.
Oh my god. We sometimes stay at Kelly Worcester's house. She's a great designer and she has a Malibu house and it has a tree like right in the living room kitchen area. And we were like, we want a tree inside our house too. <laughs> so this tree actually is an olive tree that used to be alive for real, but it's not alive now. And so we like literally dug six feet deep, put the roots down, we put did. this tree here, not ourselves. Yeah, we did it. And it has silk leaves that don't fall down. They're attached to the tree and it still looks and feels real, but it's not alive. <laughs> it was formerly alive. And we embalmed it. We embalmed it, basically. <laughs> around it, we have this beautiful... This is a custom-designed yeah. kind of gold ring around the tree. It's our Christmas tree during Christmas times. So we put the presents underneath it here. The kids will cut out little shapes and we'll hang it from the leaves and we'll put twinkling lights in it around the holidays. And it's just such a centerpiece, obviously. It just mm -hmm. makes us feel more connected to the earth. And just to like have it kind of flow from inside to outside is beautiful. So now we're in the dining room, which not really a room, it's just all part of the great room, but this is where we would have formal dining, but we almost never have formal dining. Never. Actually, my Girl Scouts sit here. The Girl Scouts sit the here. Chris is a Girl Scout <laughs> troop leader, believe it or not. Yes, she is. And she's so good at it. She's like always coming up with cool ideas for the Girl Scouts and I think crafts. aside from Thanksgiving, the only thing I've done here is have my Girl Scouts gathered around yes. it and making dirt cups. Yeah. But this table is just beautiful. It's the heaviest table you could possibly imagine. It takes like an army to move it. A so crane. so we're never going to move it after this. No. Like, it's just gonna stay here forever. This used to actually be a full wall with a fireplace and we didn't like it. The fireplace felt like a little too fake and cheesy. We decided to make it two pillars instead and we put this beautiful, based on Chrissy's idea, put this beautiful art installation. I did ketamine um, and I basically was like, <laughs> Therapeutic ketamine. Yes. Like a therapy. Doctor supervised. Doctor supervised. And I came home and I was like, wouldn't it be so amazing if we had two beautiful butterfly wings <laughs> that we're holding our house up? <laughs> so this is Jake's interpretation yeah. of the butterfly wings. They're kind of like butterflies, flowers, <laughs> but each wing slash petal was installed one by one. And Hand painted each one. Like yeah. if you touch them, they do, they move a little bit. I mean, they're so delicate and somehow they haven't been hurt yet at all. I think because our kids can't really reach them that well. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. This is Luna's bedroom, guys, and how cool is this bedroom? We just kind of gave Jake some vague notes about <laughs> how we wanted the kids' rooms to look, and when he came back with drawings of like what they were actually gonna look like, I was like, this is beyond anyone's wildest dreams of what their bedroom should look like. She has a slide that she goes both up and down. Yes, mostly up these days. Yeah. A little kitchen with her Easy Bake Oven, a little swinging couch. She has a little beautiful nook up here that her and Miles will have little sleepovers in. That's the bed where Manny and Amelia Bedelia book are read. Yeah, we um, read a lot of stories over there. And then we put up all those little, you know, those star stickers, the glow in the dark stickers and stuff together. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey guys, this is my room. Hey guys, this is my room. Well, Miles loves cars, if you can't tell. The centerpiece is, of course, the, the Jeep bunk bed. And then the Miles cave. has like a cave over here where he can read. And then it has just a whole play area up here, too. There's a little climbing wall in the corner where he can climb up that way to get up on the second little story of his nook and his cave. Good storage for all of his dinosaurs. So many dinosaurs. And giraffes. <laughs> they love looking down from the net that's up here. And then you can Jake, see the kids when Jake, they come up Jake, on top here. Jake did a good job. Jake did a good job, he said. <laughs> I think the headline of this story is, Jake did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, that was so sweet. 
Okay, so we're in the theater now, and we actually don't watch a lot in here, but the kids do. They watch, like, Scooby-Doo in here. And then sometimes we'll have, like, a movie night in here. Because we like to jump here. Yeah, it's really <laughs> easy place to jump and not get hurt. And Miles loves it. Look at him. What I love about this room is it's slush, it's feminine, it's beautiful. And it's stylish, and too. It's stylish. It's cool. We like to be in here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful room. We normally have a nacho machine here. Can you show them the cheese? I do have the cheese, actually. This we have cheese. We have... We have bags of manufactured cheese. Manufactured cheese. So much manufactured cheese <laughs> for it. So if you... 100% organic. You stick the tube in the cheese bag, pop it in the warmer, hit the button. The cheese comes out. I even bought, actually... Sour belts, Swedish fish, everything's underneath here. Even though we have all this, our kids are really good about not wanting it. Not overindulging. Like, they yeah. don't come and ask us for candy all the time. They're good about it. They're and really they eat their normal it. meal. Miles still doesn't eat vegetables, but we're working on it. One day, buddy. One, One day. day. One day. So now we're in the family room. And this room is where, if we're gonna have a big group over to watch anything that we wanna watch, whether it's like the big game, the big reality show I mean, finale. Just last night, we had about 40 people crammed in here on the couch, on the floor, our pizza all over the table. It makes me so happy to see everybody gathered around one space. We wanted this space just to be cozy. You see this massive couch. It like just looks welcoming. And so we just get in here. It's really casual. Everything's low to the ground. And we just hang out in here. I will say this couch was cream just a couple months ago, which we loved, but I thought it was a little too clean looking. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to bring a little like funk into the house and a little pattern action character. and character and fun and anything coming out of this. We, we've, I, I mean, we've spilled red wine. We have spilled everything. It's a it. very durable fabric. Very durable. <laughs> and we love the pillows. Oh my God, these pillows are so gorgeous. This print. Jake picked this out and showed it to us, and we were like, yes, that's the one. How much Bravo is watched in kidding. here? I'm not joking. Um, so if I wake up at nine, I guess nine to like when I go to bed, 10, we just, it's always playing in the background. <laughs> it's part of the like tapestry of the home, like mm -hmm. the fabric of the home. Yeah. It's part of our background. Yeah. It's always happening. Yeah, the kids see it and they hear it and they know <laughs> that Mommy's they watching fight. her Bravo. Mommy's watching her Bravo, and you shouldn't fight like this. <laughs> say this fighting isn't good. Yes, don't it's be like them. It's a teaching tool. This is the most magical powder room I could imagine. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's all the same stone all throughout. So the sink, the walls, everything is just all this beautiful stone. These sconces are vintage, and it's a vibe in here. Don't you want to move into this powder room? There's no better place to take a shit. Mm -hmm. It just really isn't. Yeah. You know? This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the backyard. <laughs> we've got a pool. We've got miles. <laughs> we've got astroturf. We got a water slide over there. A little play structure for the astroturf? kids. Astroturf? No one says astroturf. So people that watch some turf. people that go out watching football. That was like okay, what they I called guess. it. We have turf. It gets really, <laughs> really hot back here. When the sun is up, I don't even know the upkeep it would take to take grass. Plus, we have so many animals, so it would just be a lot. And we discovered that it's much Mama. easier to maintain turf. Yeah. We have a little garden back here. <laughs> We have barbecue over there, so if we were having a party, obviously the party flows in and out. So it's in the living room, but it's out here too. When we have big game parties, Super Bowl parties, the water slide is fun. It's a hit with the kids. So this is where we sleep. <laughs> this is John where- John on the couch. <laughs> if I'm in trouble, this is where I sleep. Oh, please. <laughs> It's such a joke amongst married people, but we have it's never like done a It's like a sitcom couch. trope. If anything, I used to book a room with the Bowery. Hey. <laughs> In New York? Yes. Yeah. I'm booking a room with the Bowery. I'm like out of here. I don't do the couch. Okay? <laughs> Not anymore. This is actually my therapy area. <laughs> so <laughs> my therapist comes in twice a week, sits on this chair, and I lay here. And it's uh, exactly what you would imagine. I lay here and just... Talk, Talk about, about life. life. <laughs> Talk about life. So this room, like, 
Obviously, it's like very warm and earth tony, and we just want it to feel like super cozy and not too bright. Everything muted and chill. This table is actually really cool. We've had this table since our first place we did with AD. Love that home so much. Yes. It was like our little. It was our little three oasis. bedroom oasis, and this is one of the only pieces that is still with us from that home. Love that house. This is our bathroom. Chrissy likes to do bath time with the kids. I do bath time with the kids. I don't do solo baths. There is a TV in here. And so if I must, there's a TV everywhere, I'm telling you. If I must, I will sit maybe five, 10 minutes, quick rinse, watch Bravo. But me and all the kids will pile in here. They love doing like a family bath with me. And we sit in here, we do a big bubble bath. Huh, Miles, how much do you love bath? You'd love he loves so bad times with Mama, especially. He brings all of his cars. What else? Dinosaurs. And dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Into the bathtub. Our shower is great. Good pressure. The pressure. That's all you need. Yes. Really, having a great shower is all about pressure. In this space where we are now, there was both a his and hers bathroom and a his and hers closet. We thought that was a little redundant. And so we did really big closet together and then one nice size bathroom together. We don't need to be separated. Yeah. It feels very like Victorian or something. <laughs> okay, AD, uh, I think we got some TV to watch, a robe to put on. You can go home. Bye, sorry. Take care. We've loved having you. <laughs> Bye.